Hello, my fellow Aldi addict, it's Jackie. It is a sunny Sunday and I'm shopping one day early, still the new week, but I have to get in here because we are actually going on a mini vacation this week, which means less meals, more snacks. So let's get in, see what I got. And by chance, if I have any meals to share with you, they'll be at the end. Let's get in. Everyone in my family loves this trail mix. It's great for road trips and hotel rooms, 5.59. I haven't bought these in a long time, but I think they'll be good for the hotel. $7.29, yummy. Okay, we're getting um, chocolate donuts, $3.69, and mini blueberry muffins for $3.95. Easy grab and go breakfast at the hotel. I'm getting two things of chips for the hotel room, $2.09 for each of these. I'm gonna get this baguette for pasta we're having this week. $1.69. $1.29. We just keep this in stock for toast, peanut butter and jelly, easy things. Oranges are like the easiest car snack and hotel. They keep easy. $3.59. We're also bringing apples that I already have. We're going to take carrots and hummus for an easy snack at the hotel. $1.19. I'm making a HelloFresh meal this week and I don't know if my kids are going to like it so I'm getting these mashed potatoes $3.64 and this macaroni and cheese $2.95 to basically supplement it. Um, really nice to know eggs are only $2.99. I don't need them of course but $1.66 for a half gallon of 2% milk since we're not home all week. Orange juice to go with actually tonight's dinner of waffles from last week's meal plan, 335. More brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts. We haven't had these in our house for years and now my kids are on a kick. $1.78. My husband asked for this, $1.95. And he wanted the Fruit Loops. Let's see. Here they are. $1.43. get these cashews salt and pepper $5.99 for an easy snack at the hotel they're really making room in the Aldi finds area up front I wonder what they're gonna bring in or what they got rid of we didn't have these when they came out a while ago I don't remember but they're back I don't know was that a Christmas thing it was supposed to be super cute though Lots of St. Patrick's Day items. I love the gnome with the top hat like that. They're $8.99. Window clings. These are cute. I like the Lucky. $4.99. Different candles. I also love the carafe. I think that's really pretty. And something tells me that shouldn't be here. This terracotta bowl is very beautiful. $19.99. They have mini wreaths. $9. I was going to buy paper plates for the hotel, but 100 for $8.29? Are you kidding me? Um, no, I guess I'll get 50 foam plates. $1.79. Yikes. I'm almost out of aluminum foil. $3.69. I need more coffee at home. Breakfast blend, $4.89. I've seen other people mention that these are marked down, sweet and savory pretzel bites. Um, it's $5 for the tray and it comes with two different sauces. That looks really good to me. I think I'm gonna get this. Um, I think my family would like it. $4.50. Okay, there's lots of seafood stuff here. I don't see anything really new. Um, I'm kind of disappointed though because I was gonna get the chicken taquitos for next meal plan just because I remember seeing them and I don't see them again. So you uh, miss out if you drag your feet like I did. Okay, so they also have these soft pretzels. Oh my goodness. These are 250. They have chicken Parmesan and veal patties. They're $10 different um, avocado or carrot blends. They have some strombolis. Ooh, garlic cubes. Oh, garlic, basil, and ginger cubes. I need to go see those on the other side. 
Okay, these pre-portioned herbs look amazing. I'm actually gonna get, um, not the garlic, but I'm gonna get a ginger and a basil because I feel like I use fresh ginger and basil often, but it's not always readily available. Yay. $2.99 for habanero jack. We're gonna take this to the hotel. Pine roasted hummus taking us for carrots at the hotel, $2.49. Well, they don't have lemon, which I wanted, but I'm gonna get grapefruit at $3.85. I'm going to get three unflavored, they're 79 cents a piece. Okay, last thing for our haul, $3.29 for water. I'm not gonna get any of it, but they have lots of clearance, Valentine stuff. I'm not getting this this week, but I got this last week and I really liked it. I cooked it with an egg, delicious. Any guesses on my total? Okay, everything came out with a grand total of 93.87. Pit stop at Panera to get iced coffee before hitting Meyer, where I got an avocado that I forgot to get at Aldi, and I got Gatorade to take to the hotel, 10.99. Okay, so you can see I came home and I have packed a bunch of snacks and other things for our trip here. Um, we are going to be gone four days and three nights. My kids have a midwinter break at school and I packed all this. Obviously, we're not going to consume all of this, but I want variety and options. It'll help us to not spend, overspend on snacks there. So um, we do plan to eat our meals there, but this will be helpful and we'll pack a cooler with the carrots, hummus, cheese, but I just want to share that with you before I share with you our very, very small meal plan. Okay, so I had signed up very last minute for HelloFresh because I got a 70% off free shipping offer, and this is the meal that I'm making. I made two of them this weekend, which I really liked, but we didn't get through the third one. So it was very expensive if you didn't have a coupon, but the coupon made it pretty affordable. However, I have a four-person portion of this, and you guys all know I have a vegetarian. She will obviously will not eat the pork or the apples that are cooked in pork, but the mashed potatoes, I'm afraid four person portion won't be enough for five of us when one of us is a vegetarian and eats a lot of mashed potatoes. So that's why I got the extra mashed potatoes and the mac and cheese is just to make sure this is a filling meal. Um, and I have a feeling we'll have leftover pork, which helps because when I make the pork traps tonight, then when we have one pot pasta, bread, butter, cheese, and broccoli tomorrow. I'll have the leftover pork with that as well for anyone that wants it. I have a feeling it's going to be good, but we don't eat a lot of pork, so I don't think we're going to go through four of them tomorrow. And then the rest of the week, we're going to the Wisconsin Dells. So we're really looking forward to getting away. Um, it's going to be a lot of eating out. That's why I packed the snacks is to hopefully limit um, all of the costs. Hopefully we don't go to breakfast every day, but snacking in between our activities. We can have some stuff at the, the hotel. We're gonna be doing a lot of water slides, a lot of climbing, a lot of stairs. I know my kids are gonna get hungry. So being prepared will be helpful. If you're interested in seeing what a normal grocery haul looks like on a non mini vacation week, you can check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.